Hello and welcome back to Horizon Operation Zero. Once again, I haven't played it. Chris and Josh here have. And we are gonna go out of the, uh, we're gonna leave Mother's Embrace for the first time here. I think it's the first time Aloy's been out of it. Oh wait, no, you know, there was that cutscene at the beginning of the game where Rost was carrying around baby Aloy and wandering around out here in places that you later discover that for someone who holds the law in high regard, he really should not have been going. Some who are shunned but this is certainly the first time place. that we've left Tutorial Island as a player. Yeah. Got some hints uh, about Ross' backstory here I that, uh... I spoke to no one. I he's got people who we were outside <laughs> respect him enough that even though he's, he's an outcast, the they'll let him through the gate way. freely. Hey, Josh. Unlike any you have ever faced. Yeah, I know. I'm just, you might want to back away a little bit. Beast was that? I, or step away from the airliner. Not, it's It's like five feet away. I don't Good know Lord. what to do about this thing. I'm gonna, we'll, we'll noise cancel it. It'll be fine. Nothing will Oh, no, wrong. don't. Absolutely don't. We're, I think the, that it's, the it's aircraft very important is not depressurizing. Please be seated with, with your seatbelts fastened. Include at least a few snippets of it completely unedited, just so people understand <laughs> that. Yeah. Uh, it's like Josh. It's, uh, you know, I, mean, I know that you like to be clean for all of your broadcasts, but can you wait to blow dry your hair until after you're done recording the stream? <laughs> oh, I see. We get closer to the microphone, so at least the uh, balance of those two will be a little better. <laughs> Uh, if I would have oh, so known that we were allowed this... to have giant okay, grinding noises by our microphones, I would happily be doing this with my desktop PC, which sounds like uh, two mainframes from the 1960s colliding when their trucks crash in traffic. <laughs> oh, did Sony make your desktop PC too? Uh, I have no idea actually. I don't know. I don't know what's inside my computer. I don't know uh, what it's it's made from. It's a black box. Uh, that makes strange noises much and runs most of my life, and it is alien to me. Uh, so I thought I got a PS4 Pro. I thought we were heading into the actual um, proper area where we meet all the the elders and the rest of the people in the village. I forgot. Are we in the section where we do the big the big kill, the first really big kill? Is that yep. what this is? Yep. That's and we this. get trained on uh, traps and crap like that. Yeah. So, what was the point of this? Because I thought we were going straight into the village. Was this to prove that we're ready to go do the final... The, ready for the yeah, trial? Yeah, this is kind of Rost's final test. I'm actually sad, because you said the big kill, and now I wish that Sam and Max were in this game. Wrecked by <laughs> How many were there? I didn't bring you Somebody here bring Sam and Max back. They, they did. They did. They were called they Telltale. Died. No, I know. Somebody bring it back from Telltale for fuck's sake. <laughs> if, if it's, Supposedly if it's they're, an they're finally going to be updating IP, their engine. If it's an adventure game IP in Telltale's office, that's a little bit like being the only copy being stored in a submarine, which has run out of fuel from a nation that's already lost its war. <laughs> That will be for you to decide. This hunt is yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. So once again, we have this sort of extended tutorial sequence where we hunt... This is your first big kill, and you're going to learn how to fight things with weaknesses, I believe is really the point of this, more than anything. That yeah. and killing a big giant thing that's cool. Oh, the so mic So we can noises. bring up the thing for... Um, I forgot about those. The the, yeah, the uh, controller noises, because it got picked up by the oh, mic yeah. on the game. Yeah, that's that's something that's weird, because I normally play this thing with headphones on, uh, but um, because that would make it so that the capture card doesn't get any of the audio, I've got it running on speakers and just have the speakers off, um, which means that the damn controller makes the sound... Um, so we can kind of take a look at the, um, 
what's on this sawtooth here. It's got a body and it's got blaze canisters. Um, the blaze canisters are weak to tear and both are weak to fire. So we've got those fire arrows okay. that we can use. Uh, we've also got this uh, trip caster and we can use our tools here to um, highlight the track, see where it's <laughs> going to go and maybe lay some traps for Sorry. it. It's never going to not be fun. Because now it sounds instead of like instead of sounding like there's a air jetliner right behind you, it sounds like there's a droid in the room with you. <laughs> like you've got a robot sidekick, like it's a cartoon. It's on. If so, it probably yeah, be it saw you because right now, of. To be honest. <laughs> I do love this combat. Oh, that was that was great. The combat is really good. Just being able to set up traps like that and and, and it blew up. Weaknesses. And now it's stunned again. And we're rolling into a critical hit. And that's it. Oh, wait, we need to hit. Is that the big hit? There we go. Yeah. Th this is your first time seeing something that large. Um, and they're actually not that large by this game standards, but it's your first time fighting a non-raptor-sized. Humanish animal, humanish size. Yeah, you see this the first time, and you're like, "Wow, that's a big monster robot." And then you, and then like five hours later, you're fighting these things and stuff at this size, like regularly, and it's like, "Oh, okay, this actually wasn't a big deal." Right. Okay, so does do, do killing these things give you sigma overrides? These are Nora hunting. No, no, no. So that's something else that we'll run into probably uh, brains, next week, maybe the week range. after that. Um, Wait. Lives within the question. Does this game feature Ligma overrides? For years, you've trained to win the proving, but only for yourself. I don't know what that is. Brave, it will be your I feel like that was a pun. You know, like my tribe. Ligma nuts. You said I wouldn't. Oh, are you two of the last people in Western civilization to hear about this? The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the well, strength to... Well, I don't have a to response. Too excited. <laughs> that is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. Why is a jet engine now that, like, fucking... We're in the middle of a cutscene where nothing's happening. <laughs> well, oh man, the, that facial animation, it just taxes the graphics card on this thing. Josh, that PS4 is a professional. Respect it. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is okay, so this is sort of our story. go clean up whatever quests you have left in the outsides, and then we'll do the thing. Yep. I understand the Do we have any quests now? left? I feel um, like we which did. We've already uh, cleaned up I'm all the quests, so. It'll yeah. have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh, such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. I'll see you at Mother's Heart then. You will. All right. Um, is there anything interesting to loot over here? I don't think so. All right. <laughs> Let's just fill up our medicine pouch here. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> the, the robot was agreeing with Josh. Hardy little plant. You'll help. Me. Okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm very, very easy to entertain. That, that's good. Uh, that, that's what our show is about. Uh, I hate that this skill is in this tree. Because heavy weapons heavy we are just... They're, like, it's not, oh, cool, heavy weapons, but you, the heavy weapons are just stuff you find in the world, and they have, like, limited ammo, and you can't reload them or make more, so you right. pretty much never it's like the, them. Right, it's like the turns of, like, Wolfenstein. Hey, Alec! I was here the whole that, time! Get... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Hi, Alex. That was incredible <laughs> stuff. I just, uh, I'm, I'm uh, now speaking up because I'm very interested in this skill point. tree that is very complicated. Okay, that, that's great. Uh, Alex. 
Uh, can you here. tell me? Because they they don't know this, but can you tell me where you find the Ligma upgrades? Don't, don't talk, don't w tempt uh, him. What? Don't. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I, I've I've had my fill today. Where are we? We're at the gate. We finished up all our quests, right? Yep. I think so. Oh yeah, there's also... I'm really annoyed by the tutorial missions in this game. Like, you get tutorial quests, but... Like, and it's like, oh, trip machines with shock wires. Okay, that's easy. Problem is, you have to have the quest selected for this to to fill up. Oh, yeah, that is so annoying. It's what the worst What were they thinking? Shit. Where you not only had to activate the quest, but then also put a map marker. That is garbage, actually. <laughs> yeah. That's like technology. It should just be one or the out. other. Yes. It's like, no, I don't want marker? to work on this quest, even though it's available. Like. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're, why, what we're trying situation to do one quest you ever... and you bring out the tutorial. Yeah, it's. It feels like something that should fill up on its own. You can do other quests without having them selected. You know, like... I don't the only that thing was. that I can think of that being useful is if, like, you're in a game where cutscenes just appear out of nowhere, and, like, you don't want to deal with that at the moment, but I feel like that's also just... If your cutscene is getting in the way of regular gameplay, you're also, like... I think messing up a little bit too, so it just literally yeah. makes no sense. Yeah, there's no good design that incorporates this policy. Come here, you. And yeah, I didn't realize it either because I was using the trip caster mines, and I was like, okay, I trapped three of them. Go to check my quest, and I'm like, what the fuck? And like, nothing's. Yeah, tracking. I had forgotten that's how I did it until I started playing it again, and I was like, god damn it, this I remember your heart just wasn't in. It. This will last, she said, killing the first raccoon of the day. Okay, now we're at Mother's Heart. Now we get to see all yeah. the other people. This is where I thought we were last time. So, <laughs> it's time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson this, the this, this is good, teach. actually. This is good structure in it terms of the story. Me, not the uh, yeah. When we were discussing, like, sort of coming to this moment sure uh, with our character, I just for some reason I kind of assumed this that the game was going to have a lot of dicking around to do before we got to the actual next point of interest, alone. which this clearly is. Answers. That's surprisingly not something you could expect of this kind of sandbox style, like, game, where there would be kind of like a tension or a question that would be introduced that's like the clear sort of transition into the second act, but they kind of just push it off for a while. And that's that's just so very much the wrong way to do it. Just because you have much more time to work with doesn't mean that you should like delay getting into the second act of the story. Because the first act is not very interesting if you stretch it out very much it's where your Are character you sure is sort of like gaining your purpose and like you, your lost. condition is established and you're pushed into new circumstances approving. and any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no yeah more. you're not like overwhelmed with options at the beginning you know you can do like a handful of side quests and a few like extra mobs to like get some extra experience but like you do run out of stuff to do and i really like that because it's like even if you're the obsessed, like, completionist, yeah. it still paces it based on that by giving you just less to do. Take this too. Like, even, uh, so I, I was not part of much discourse for Dragon Age Origins, uh, or Dragon, not Dragon Age Origins, Dragon Age Inquisition. So I don't know how you guys all feel about it. Uh, I couldn't get into it very much. No. 
Uh, but Mumbles, no. even like the you biggest sort of the Inquisition tribe. apologist uh, that I, I knew at the time, was just but like, oh, the first you, area, you're out. spending way too long there. You yeah, it's, it's terrible. That game is so fucking you. big you and in the worst way. Like, this there are a good... I want to say like 15 maps the size of uh, Red Cliff in that game. Uh, it's it's nuts. Until now, I didn't. For your sake. Yeah. I got like halfway through it and then got bogged down with like a whole bunch of other stuff and just kind of stopped playing. I, to be honest, I, I mostly stopped playing it because it started glitching out on me. But uh, th that that's Final actually, Fantasy 15 and, like, also had the same problem actually, where none of the quests really led to any story points or got you good gear, so there was literally no reason to do them. But like, you wouldn't know that unless someone specifically right. told you. And you, oh, you feel so like you're missing out if you don't do Oh, okay, we have a choice Oh, here. like, definitely for sure, but it's just kind of nice to know when, like, okay, you don't so, need to grind here. Rost basically... I like the idea that this is actually all happening in real time. Rost is just, like, pausing and waiting for you to say something. You're just... Nah! No! Just go! <laughs> um, Rost told us that he's not gonna let us uh, see him again. Okay, Which that's totally not foreshadowing anything. Hmm. I feel like whenever possible, if someone tries to like, if someone that you like tries to break off contact with you and won't say why, you should try to end things as well as possible because clearly they're going through something. So my inclination is to heart. However, we do often commit to being a jackass. So what's on brand? Eh, we I mean, really been like, I know what happens, so I, I feel like just like retroactively, it's so hard to be a jackass in this situation. Oh, all right, yeah. then let's not. Let's just go with the let's go with the brain power power one. No, nope, too late. Oh, too oh, late. Okay. I see. That's okay. We'll be nice, Ashley. I'm glad to have this then. Remind me of you, of everything you did, and how you helped prepare me oh, for this day. Man. This just continues to Damn. highlight, like, the weird dichotomy between, like, the really, really good, excellent, um, cutscene animation and then the animation for dialogue in the rest of the game. Yeah, that, that was good. That was actually good. Actually good. That is a very high praise uh, on the curve of video game emoting and voice acting. Like, like that looked like something yeah. that you would see in a film. That would you would say that was or, good or in something Naughty Dog did. Right. Although I've never, I, 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 I have played much Naughty Dog stuff. And I mean, when we I've played on it, I've kind of been The like, Last of Us. That. Oh yeah, that's right. They did The Last of Us. I think of them as the Uncharted people. They, oh, I will say that I think games people. in general like this rely too heavily on shot reverse shot for their dialogue yeah. when like they do realize that they're not operating real cameras and they can do all sorts of like different angles with ease. Yeah. The other thing is that shot reverse shot is usually to show the reactions in people's faces, and yes. most games don't invest in animation. And like that, the scene we just saw does this. This whole little bit here does, but the rest of this game, a lot of the like merchant dialogue, there is no reason for shot reverse shot because you're just getting Skyrim level Muppets that look weird. Exactly. Like if you're gonna do that, you better. Like make your type, like your facial animations up to snuff, or else it's just like it's like the come to observe the the what the oh god the rock star cop one. We will talk later. Oh, um, L.A. Noir. Thank you. Oh god. I mean, that one was actually like face scans. Try telling him that. Yeah, but and it completely takes you out of the game. Yeah, because it's these incredibly, like, detailed, but not incredibly well-shaded face scans on these kind of janky bodies. Yeah. It I looks like, did not uh, like I mean, good. They were Mostly well, because, textures like... textures on, on faces, actually, weren't they? Like, they weren't, like, the, yeah, the actual yeah. faces were not detailed enough at the time. 
yes. You, you were supposed to be able to like use those face fancy facial animations yeah, to tell when someone is lying, but every time I tried, they they were making goofy faces either way, and all of it looked <laughs> artificial, and I I failed yeah. utterly at being able to tell who was lying. Is. Bondi yeah, spent nice. a lot of money it's like... failing to accomplish. Uh, it's you, isn't hey, it? it's coherent, un unable to fly guy. A coherent hey, the game plan. Old friend Tirsa told me about. Uh, I, uh, yes, everybody's faces look like the faces uh, of, like on a Disneyland you. animatronic, well, where they, they just project ago. light up onto them. Like grim, grim ghost. Yeah. You were half my size when you saved I did end up spending a lot of time in this area, just like seeing. Because I was curious as to, like, how much time and effort they put into creating, like, the songs and the music for the celebrations. And there's, like, spoken word stuff and, like, some storytelling. So you can actually spend a fair amount of time in this area just, like, yeah, there's a, absorbing everything. A there's a stage up ahead where um, uh, an old storyteller will tell the, like, history of the tribe from their perspective and, like, the origin of the tribe. Um, and it's, like, a, a good, like, four or five minute long, like, audio recording. Cool, okay, so we can get some new armor that uh, doesn't actually have anything... Uh, useful in it, except that you can add an outfit modification to it, um, which is Especially cool. Especially when you can just straight up buy, like, better gear here. Yeah. Brave sounds like I'm not gonna bother, because, um, it's not that important yet, yours? but... I think you'll find it a oh, really? Then. I bought, like, an upgrade as soon as I could, because I'm like, I'm gonna need this. I, I don't find the light armor anyway. is good enough to make it worth even wasting the time the on. Lodge. If you want to find Tirsa, you'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry... Oh, wind. man, this, this is some super uncanny valley. From another tribe. <laughs> but it's just the animation. Like, the head looks fine. Yeah, the head looks really good. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly. I'm, I'm just picturing him going to, like, sit down, turn around and sitting down and eating some stuff. And it's like that that robot that tries to eat a Cheeto against a fake fake uh, human head and just ends up slamming it to the human head again and again and again. <laughs> I like robots.